Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Rajesh Yadav and in today's session, I am going to cover SAS interview questions on SAS macro variable forward scan rule or multiple M% used in macro variable resolution. So let's move on to the first slide. Okay, this is about me and my certification and my experience. Let's move on to the next slide. So guys, if you want to learn SAS from me, you can contact me on my email address or you can directly message me on my whatsapp number so i will cover entire sas base and advanced sas in just 12000 and if you do not like my course or if you do not get a job within one year you can ask for 100 percent money back all right enough of advertisement let's move on to the first question how many m percent will require in below percent put statement to resolve value of macro variable a that is 20 so in this question we have three macro variables m percent a has the value 20 macro variable b has a value a and percent let macro variable c has a value b so guys here i want to explain that the macro variable b has the value a it doesn't have the value of macro variable so this is not a macro variable a it has a value if it is a macro variable then definitely we would have added m percent here so to resolve a macro variable we use m percent right this is the statement so how many m percent we need to put so that value of a equal 20 will be printed and we want to print it using c so in all these variable assignment we haven't used m percent so we would like to attach the m percent using multiple m percent okay let's see the answer so the answer is use 7 m percent so if you use 7 m percent in this statement it will give value 20 in the log let's see the log so this is the statement we applied 7 m percent and then c so it has printed value 20 that is the value of a so guys we'll understand this concept in upcoming slides and i will explain these multiple m percent resolution one by one let's move on to the next slide here we want to understand single m percent c we know that to resolve a macro variables value we need m percent right this is a very simple and i believe everyone knows this so m percent c single variable so the value of c will be printed in the log if we use percent put statement so the value of b will be printed so it's very simple let's see the log so we have used percent put and percent c so i have just enable one option that is symbol gen this is sas macro debugging option so if you do not know about these please go and watch my video on sas debugging options i will put the link in description section i hope this is clear let's move on to the next slide let's try to understand what will happen when we use double m percent okay so these are the variables are the same let's understand this so answer is for multiple m percent sas makes pair from left side to right side and resolve the value of remaining m percent that doesn't find any pair to make it simple if we have 2 m percent 3 m percent and 4 m percent says makes the pair so the first 2 m percent will make a pair another 2 m percent will make a pair so at the end whatever m percent has left that doesn't find any pair or participated in pair that means when we have odd number of m percents then single m percent will left k if we have even number of m percent then all the m percent will make a pair let's understand this by example so double m percent since it has two m percent it is an even number so double m percent will resolve to single m percent and then it will resolve corresponding variable value let's see the example how it is working so now in 2 m percent you can see this is the 2 m percent and then see so it is making a pair of two and this two will resolve to one and from here we do not have a single m percent left at top so nothing has resolved so here this c will go down as it is so now we have m percent single and the value of c is there so it will the statement became m percent c or m percent c will resolve to what value c contains it contains b so it will give you the answer b let's see in the log how this is working so in the log this will be printed so due to the symbols and debug option we can understand what is happening so double m percent resolve to single m percent so this double m percent resolve to single m percent now this whole thing became m percent c so macro variable c 
resolve to B. So M percent C resolve to B. And this is the answer here. And it is explaining here. All right, guys. I hope this is clear. Let's move on to the next slide and understand what will happen when we use 3M percent. So this time we have 3M percent. So let's create a pair. So this is one pair. And here one M percent is left. So as I told you, when there is single M percent left or M percent that does not participate in pairing, that will resolve the value of macro variable okay let's see the functioning so here these two will create a pair so this will go down and it will resolve to one m percent two m percent will resolve to one and now we have a three three m percent that is aligned with c so it will resolve the value m percent c will resolve the value b so that's why here we receive the value b now what is left m percent b so this m percent b will resolve to value a okay guys so as i told you that when we have odd number of m percent then the single m percent will left and it will resolve the values so in this example these are three m percent so these are odd number so the first two created a pair and then remaining one m percent has resolved the value and here only single m percent left so it has resolved the value of b so that's why in the final we received in the log is a let's see the log as i explain first two m percent will resolve to single m percent this one so here this one and the macro variable this one m percent c resolve to b so here it resolved to b now what is left m percent b so the macro variable b resolve to a the final value a and this is the statement let's move on to the next slide and understand what will happen when we have four m percents so here you can see these are four m percent and these are even even number of m percent so there is no m percent left that doesn't participate in pairing so this one and this one so the two pair will be created let's see the functioning so four m percent so this will create one pair and these two will create another pair but with c nothing is there so i have highlighted c and from first we got this m percent first pair and for the second pair we got this m percent but with c we do not have any free or single m percent that's why this c hasn't resolved and it is directly come down to this and this now we have two m percent still the m percents are even number so we do not have a free m percent here so these two resolve to single m percent and this c will go again down as c so now we have single m percent left so it will resolve to p let's understand this using log so as i explained first pair will resolve to single m percent a second pair will resolve to single m percent and now three m percent is not there so these two m percent will now again resolve to one so the third one is this now what is left here m percent c so c resolve to value b so guys when we have single m percent we got the value b when we have two m percent we got the value b when we have four m percent we got the value b all right let's move on to the next slide and understand if we have 5 m percent this pair this pair and we have a 1 m percent left so this is odd number let's see the functioning so this will create one pair this pair will create one m percent and this will resolve to one and this one is left so this will the highlighted in yellow will resolve to b so that's why we have the value b but here we have two m percents no single m percent this is even number so this will resolve to m percent so this nothing is resolved here so b is directly as it is now m percent b and this one resolved to a so the value of b resolved to a let's understand this using log so as i explained the first pair will resolve to one m percent second pair will resolve to single m percent now this one is left m percent c so this resolves to b now in the second line two m percent will resolve to one two m percent resolve to one here no free m percent left so this we will go down as it is here it is m percent b so the b resolved to a so this is the statement and this is the result i hope guys you understood it let's move on to the next slide and understand what will happen when we have six m percent so here the pairing will so these are even number no free m percent here let's understand this so we have six so one pair two pair three pairs and from first pair one m percent resolve second pair resolve to this m percent and third will resolve to this but with c there is no free m percent so c will go directly as it is second execution 2 m percent will become 1 but this time we have a free m percent left this m percent c will resolve to value b 
So we have value B from there to M percent. We received one M percent here and B. So now we have the value M percent B. So M percent B will resolve to value A. Let's see this in log. So as I explained, the first pair will resolve to one M percent, second pair and third pair. So the second pair and third pair resolve to one one. Okay. Then the fourth number, this one resolve to single one. It is showing now this section three M percent is there. So this M percent C will resolve to B. Now this whole section or single M percent left. So M percent B resolve to A. I hope this is clear guys. Okay, let's move on to the next slide and understand what will happen when we use 7 M percent. So the pairing will this, this, this and this is free. So it will resolve in first execution. Let's see the functioning. One pair, two pair and three pair and one M percent is free. So this uh, pair will resolve M percent here. This pair will resolve this M percent and this pair will resolve this M percent and this M percent C will resolve to P. Now we have three M percent here. So this pair will resolve M percent this and now it is left M percent B. So M percent B will resolve to value A. So we have value A. Now what is left? M percent A. M percent A will resolve the value 20. So that's why we have a value 20. Let's understand this using log. So the first three, one, two, three, three pairs resolving to one. So the three pair of m percents are resolving to one so this one this one this one single single it's single so these three pair are covered now m percent c left so the macro variable c resolved to b and then what is happening these two left so this is the pair this resolved to this m percent planning this double m percent resolved to single m percent now this one is left m percent b so m percent b resolves to a so this value came from here now what is left m percent a so m percent a resolves to 20. I hope guys you now understood how this functionality works and I believe you can resolve any number of variables now and if I give you a shortcut how you can calculate quickly how many number of m percents will be used. So how many number of variables are there? We have three variables so what you need to do is so just apply 2's power 3 minus 1 and you will get to know how many m percents you will require. Okay so 2's power 3 is what? 2 multiply by 2 multiply by 2 and minus 1. So this 2 to the 4, uh, 4 to the 8. So this is 8 and minus 1 is equal to 7. Okay, so we have three variables. Okay, and we use pairing of 2. So that's why 2's power of 3 minus 1, 8 minus 1 is 7. So it will give you the number of m percent. Let's move on to the next slide. All right, guys. So here is the question for you How many m percent will require in below put statement to resolve value of macro variable A that has the value 20? So this time I have increased the number of variables. So this time we have a number of variable are 4. So how many macro variables required? You just with the formula I told you, you can quickly calculate or just put m percents and increase them one by one and once you reach, you will able to know. But I'll tell you the number of m percent would be between 10 to 20. Just put your answer in comment section and I'll reply on that if it's correct or incorrect. Let's move on to the next. Alright guys, that's it in the session. If you like my video, please hit the like button. Also, please subscribe my channel and we'll meet in the next session. Till then, thank you. Bye and take care.